There are some of these defendants who, because of who they are and who they're associated with, the risk of sitting in judgment of them is profound, right? So if you imagine we bring Khalid Sheikh Mohammed to a federal court, and I'm a juror on that case, I think what's going to go through my mind is that when I convict him, I am going to be marked for life as the, one of the jurors who convicted this person. And in that sense, I think there's some merit to the argument that one of the mission, the primary mission of the military is to accept risk on behalf of the nation. That's what we do, right? So, so the, I, I think there's some merit in the argument that one, one plausible basis for using a military tribunal for these offenses is because the people we're trying are going to create a risk for the people in the process forever.